Hi, my name is Daryl Johns. I'm with the uh, Eagle Rock Volunteer Fire and Rescue, and this is our new Sabre Rescue Pumper. It's the uh, first new truck we've had in quite a few years. Uh, first heavy rescue pumper that we've had. Uh, it's got a lot of good features on it uh, that we did. Uh, got a lot of young guys that helped spec this truck out, and We've got all the interior with, uh, it's got a medical compartment in the back. We've had a small two-man cab truck and we've come to this one. Uh, we've got a lot more people in the department. So it's gonna run EMS as well as uh, fire and rescue calls. Uh, so we put the EMS compartment in there to take the jump kit, AED, gloves, and all accessories to goes with uh, EMS cows. Back here we're using uh, got a nice pump panel uh, with foam system, uh, single cross lays. Did that to make it easier on packing instead of uh, in the low low cross lays. I've got a light tower in here, slide out trays for all of our uh, appliances, a little cubby hole here for a refrigerator for drinking water and everything. Uh, put the cover on the side to protect the truck for all of our fire extinguishers, rope gear and everything will go in here. The back compartment we will use for uh, everything with gas like our chainsaws, K12 saws, uh, positive pressure fans. All right, now we'll just move on to the rear of the truck. Uh, we've got the uh, through compartment in here where we've got our hose, uh, ladders, all of our pike poles and everything. Um, got a door up top, which we, for Stokes basket and backboards. Uh, and, uh, We'll move on around. It's also up top has coffin compartments, uh, which take uh, for uh, stay dry, and also our hydraulic pump will go up top. This compartment here is for our uh, Paratech struts. We've got strut system, all of our wood cribbing, airbags. And we'll move on up. We got dual two dual tool boards uh, on here and swing out backwards and forwards uh, for multiple type of uh, tooling and on up here is where the rest of our uh, hearse tools will go we've got a spreader that will go in here and all the chains and attachments for the hearse rescue tools uh, rams, everything will go in the other two compartments. Move on up. And then on this side, we've got posing doors this side and the other side. One will be for our writ pack, the other side for a water can. We've got, uh, I'd like to, I know there's a lot of people to thank, but we really would like to thank uh, Botech County for supporting and funding this truck force to take us into the future to come and fire and EMS services. And we'll finish up here on the front bumper, which it's a pretty busy bumper. Uh, we've got a discharge up here for a 100 foot uh, pre-connect for trash line. I also have a suction unit on the front. Uh, We've got two Hearst reels, be a mounted uh, combi tool, and a set of cutters to be gone into the front bumper. So whatever we pull up on on the rec scene, everything is right there to take care of the problem on the front. I'd like to thank you for watching the video on the truck. Said it's we're very proud of it. It's been a long time coming. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Bobby St. Clair for his helping us build this truck. Uh, also, the group from Atlantic Fire. 
and Pierce and all of the guys that was on the committee with me that helped design and make this truck what it is. And thank Bytai County for the money.